Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare MailPoet with MailRide. The first thing I will compare our pricing plans, then I will look on the main features, how it feels, and then I will look on advantages and disadvantages of both of these tools. So let's start. Now, both of these are really great for WooCommerce and also on WordPress. For WooCommerce, MailRide is a top notch that you can use, like literally top notch. So that is my first recommendation. Uh, first, pricing plans. Both of these offer 1,000 subscribers completely for free. Also with a MailPoet and also MailRite, 12,000 emails a month, and you got all the main features available for you. When you would go to the 5,000 subscribers, you would pay 46 euro, build at or 55 euro monthly, and in MailRite is much cheaper. It's 30 bucks. So again it's better on MailRide. You can also uh, try 30 day free trial if you want to. So we can see it right here that it's like unlimited that you're gonna choose which one you want to actually have. Now to go even further on automations and main features, when you would come here to the mail point and you would click new email, you can do the newsletter, welcome mail, latest post notifications, then for WooCommerce, you get like abandoned cart shopping. When you would click on newsletter here, you can choose simply template, like this one, select. And then right here, you can just easily add text. Pretty simple, right? When I would go back to emails and I can create a new email, I can go again, abundant shopping cart, 30 minutes after last page loaded, Next, you just add like this one here. And then you're gonna see design and you can create like the automation here. MailRite is also really simple and how we can actually use it. So you can actually create a workflow to here and you get the campaigns that you can create a campaign. Subject, next content. I would just send verification. You can do the ABU split campaign in a mail right. So that's great. I'll just verify it really quick. And now, okay, next content. And then you get like drag and drop editor. The one really great thing about mail right is that how many templates you're gonna have. So you can have many more templates comparing to the mail poet. And then again, you can like the blocks type have here and you can simply add text, pictures and everything. And it's much richer comparing to mail poet from the perspective what you can actually do here. On automations also it's better because you can simply save, select when the subset completes a form, Okay, save. Then you just add like add the next step to a workflow, email. And what do you want to do? Subject, email content. You can design the mail and simply create really great automations here. So this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I recommend testing out both, which one you prefer. MailPoet is directly implemented into the WordPress. Mail, right, is like outsourced and then still you can integrate it with wordpress and woocommerce and if you're going to choose mailpoint or mailwrite you're not going to make a mistake so yeah have a great day and goodbye see ya